A Saudi Arabian prince, Prince Mohammed al Salman, has said Muslim women should choose whether they want to wear black robes and face coverings. The changes have been hailed as proof of a new progressive trend towards modernisation in the deeply conservative Muslim kingdom. We asked Irish Muslim students what their opinion on the prince's decision was. It's clean Islam, it's not like, it's not obligatory to cover your face. So there's no reason, it's not like Islamic law. A lot of the laws of Saudi Arabia, they say they're like Islamic, but they're not really representing Islam completely. It's just to, sometimes just to boost certain people up and they use the religion to back them because people don't know. So they use that as a, an excuse to cover their tracks. So I think it's fine. Well, I think it's just a matter of choice, really. Like, obviously, if you're being forced into that, that's completely wrong and unethical. But if a woman wants to cover up, she should. And if a woman doesn't want to cover up, then she shouldn't. It's, that's, basic, that's basically it. It's everyone's right to choose what they want to do. And women should be able to choose what they can, what they can and can't do with their bodies. So. We are in a modern world where people have, especially human rights, dictate the pace. And I think maybe if the people feel like they're comfortable without wearing the veil, I think they, they, they're entitled to it. But if they feel it's part of their culture, it's part of their norms, I think human rights can never change social cultural norms. So from that context, nobody can force anybody to do anything. But if the people accept in the will that maybe oh, in terms of the religion or whatever they believe in is part of them as a social cultural norm, so be it. From my perspective, it's human rights, and at the same time it's a social culture, so depending on how they take it. If you allow it to be. Alison Rothwell, DCU News Today.